GM1 here and for this video we're going to be going over how to clear and safe the M2 HB. There's two different ways to clear and safe the M2 HB. I'm going to go over the first and most common way. Uh, more than likely you're going to come on watch and find a weapon like this in condition 3 or it could be condition 1 where there's ammo hanging from the feedway and you need to clear and safe it to do your watch turnover. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to lift the top cover. Remove the ammo from the feedway, leave the top cover open, you're going to rack it and hold it to the rear, and you're going to look down, and you're going to say, chamber, bolt face clear, and you're looking in the chamber to see if there's a round in the chamber, and you're looking on the bolt face to see if there's a round in the bolt face. When you say that, the, the watch standard is going to be there, uh, as with all crew serve weapons, you got to do two person uh, integrity, so you always got to clear and safe it with two people. And they're going to look in and they're going to say chamber or bolt face clear eye. So that confirms that they see that the weapon is clear and safe as well. Now you're going to let go of the charging handle, letting the bolt go forward. Always make sure that when you do clear and safe, you don't put any of your digits or anything you don't want to lose inside here. Because if you put your finger in here and let go, it'll pretty much chop it off. Or at least break a few bones in your hand, in your finger. So once you clear and save it, and uh, your fellow watch standard verify that it's clear and safe, you can go ahead and return it to whatever condition code it says for the watch standard. So put it back in condition three. If it was condition one, um, when you lift it up, remove the ammo, and you rack it back, the round that was inside the chamber will more than likely fall out, and then it'll be clear and safe. So I'm gonna show you how to do a hot gun unload, which is what we do at the range because after we have so many people firing this weapon, it's going to get hot and we don't want any incidents to occur. So, condition one right now, so at the range, or when you're firing this weapon, you're going to do a hot gun unload. So whenever the weapon's been fired a lot or when it's hot. So usually it's when you complete a, um, a drill set and the line coach says, all right, show me clear and safe. And you do a hot gun unload. So hot gun unload is, you're gonna rack it to the rear and hold it. It's harder to do without it on a mount. So rack it to the rear, hold it, pop the top cover, sweep it out. And you can see there that there's a round on the bolt face, but no round in chamber. So if you see that, you just let it go, rack it out real quick. And normally that would just drop out, but since it's on the table, it's not doing that. And then once it's clear, you go chamber, bolt face clear. Line coach looks in, chamber, bolt face clear eye, and you let it go. So the reason why we do that at the range for hot guns is because if the barrel gets hot enough, you could technically lift this open, sweep it out, and that round's cooking in there. So it has a chance even though it's a very it's a slim chance but there's a chance that while you're clearing it out it could go off and we really don't like firing this weapon with the top cover open you can uh, if your head space is right it should do it uh, fine but we prefer to leave it closed that way if something does happen your top cover is protecting you from any blast that might happen or at least protecting you a little more than if you just have it open and the round cooked off all right so I showed you how to just do a regular clear and safe for watch turnover, and I showed you how to do a hot gun unload. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you next time.